Austin Conway is the man that Wyoming would like to handle the football. And this one will uh, go into the end zone, and it'll be first and 10 at the 25. So on third and seven, he's got a clean pocket. He can run a little bit, and he's got room to roam here. First down yardage above the 40 to the 41-yard line. He was outstanding with his legs, but the pocket just opens wide up, and that's good visual awareness. Man-to-man -man coverage from New Mexico. No one's got the quarterback. Tyree Mayfield lines up in an H into the boundary. And they'll go Evans. Big opening for Nico Evans. He's not running like he's got an ankle sprain there all the way to the 20-yard line. Look at this good job inside by the offensive line. That is a massive hole. Nico Evans taking full advantage of it. But the good vision and didn't have to do much after that. Sewell finally tracks him down. A plus 21 for Wyoming. First drive of the game, and that's going to be a walk into the end zone. Touchdown, Cowboys. That is 23, Xavier Valaday. New Mexico has struggled against the run, averaging almost 204 yards allowed a game, which is 103rd in the country. And they got gashed on those last two runs. They really did. And I tell you what, And they're going to lose a yard or two here on the first carry of the game. We'll walk it back. Off the edge, Wingard coming. Nearly had the sack on Jones. He's still in trouble. He and he'll it. go down at the 18-yard line. And Wingard got back up and got a piece of the sack to stand here. And that's New Mexico will have to punt it away. Watch Wingard, man. He's just relentless. And he has him dead to rights at first. Great job by Sharon Jones to get out of there. The winger just stays hungry to complete passes for him when they need it. And there's a strike, and it was dropped. That was a good ball. Saps, who's a tremendous player in his own right. This is a really stout Wyoming defense. And you see there another play of lost yardage for New Mexico. Cinch height advantage on Tyler Hall. Third down and long. Jones has a pocket. Now he's going to have to fall at the 14-yard line. A pickup of just a couple of yards. That closed down in a hurry. And again, it is three and out that they'll be bowl eligible three straight years. And diving for a first down is the quarterback, Vanderwall. New Mexico brings four, Valade, and that is broken up, trying to get it to Mayfield underneath. And a good job by Marcus Hayes, the strong safety. Which is insane when you think about all the guys he's been around. Yep, this is third and short, and they're going to get a first down. Boy, was that much needed. So they'll stretch the chains. Jones has single coverage on the outside, and it is nearly hauled in with one hand by Delane Hart Johnson, the first time he's been targeted team talent-wise, talking about New Mexico, is a lot better than their record. He said, but he goes, I get it. Five different guys have played quarterback. He said it's been tough for Coach Davey. Jones throws a slant, and it is incomplete. He was looking for number two, Hart Johnson. Final regular season game of the year for the Cowboys, so it was emotional, and this team's really playing for the seniors. Big opening, shoestring tackle. Otherwise, Xavier and Valaday still be running. It's burst by Valaday. It was Barnwell who got him. This offensive line is doing a really good job of creating gaps in space. Four coming for New Mexico. They drop seven, throw it in the flat. Mayfield, did he get the first down? Did he step out of bounds? Okay. No, nope, he's mark. gonna get the first down. This could be, as you said, the last time you strap it up, man. And you've been doing it since you're eight years old, some of these guys. Price with the catch, and he will be very close to a first down. Another outstanding defender. Pressure coming here. Vanderwall, huge opening. First down to the 32-yard line. Watch him ride the fake a little bit longer. That's just an excellent job of having some discipline with your ball handling 
Epting thinks he has a tackle here for a loss. And he pulls it, makes a, a decisive. Evans. Evans toward the end zone. Nico Evans, touchdown. He just ran through a New Mexico player. I want to say it's D'Angelo Ross who comes up. It's overall a 30-yard run for Evans. I mean, he just runs right through it. You got to see see what you're hitting. But he's in the hole, he tries to, doesn't wrap up, tries to block him down. Bryson Carroll back in at quarterback. And, well, he did a good job just to uh, get a hold of that football, and it's going to be a loss of a few yards. More than 770 times this year, he's like, wait a second. He goes, Sharon, six foot three. He goes, that's a perfect snap for him. <laughs> a little bit high. He's unable to handle it. 14 nothing Wyoming, first down. Vanderwall under pressure, swallowed up and dumped in the backfield. Well, there was pressure everywhere. A pretty good Wyoming football team. And he said that's what he sold his kids on this week. There's the uh, running play for six or seven. Now Wyoming will have to punt the football. Oh, snap is dropped. Big play, New Mexico. Jones, deep shot, and it is going to be interference. Third down. And they run the fade, and it's interference again. You've got some length inside. you got to get this ball up quick. He does, and New Mexico, they were looking for seven. Vanderwall, good strike. And it's first catch for number 17, Rocket Ishmael, yes. Nice zone read. You see the, the fireball right in there. He, he can bring it now. Yeah, he, he, can, he can bring it. As soon as we get him on that, we got to spin it tight. Yep. That was spun tight, and it's complete. First down, Austin Conway. Get their hopes of going bowling again alive. Vanderwall, pressure, escapes, pressure from behind, and the sack, ball comes out, Vanderwall grabs it. That was Rashawn Epting, who's the best edge rusher for New Mexico. Comes off the edge, dips underneath, and just keeps fighting. If you're Tyler, you've got to have that clock in your head. You can't just kind of slow down, get outside the pocket, slow down. you got to keep moving. And they've got guys stepping up right now, answering the call for them. They run a twist up front, bring four. Nobody open downfield, and Vanderwall's got to throw it away. Marcus Hayes, who's a great punt returner, will not have a chance here. Well, they kicked the uh, ball, and it's... Uh, <laughs> down to the two-yard line. Who's been held in check pretty much all afternoon. Well, Owens does not get the call. It's Gerhardt, and that's a nice start. 12 yards and then a flag. Third down here. Wyoming brings five. Gerhardt stands in, nearly intercepted. It was Epps breaking on the football. He has nine career picks. So an initial first down for Gerhardt, and... Now New Mexico's got to punt it again. Conway. I don't know how he spun out of all that. He's going to end up losing some yardage. No, they've hung in there nicely. And that's better than nice. That's a blow up in the backfield. Blackwell. Chin and split the double team and <laughs> terminated that play, didn't he? He didn't allow Zach Watts to even get to him. Splits it. And shuts it down immediately. That's a big time play. Well, okay. Quickness and power. Well. Throw it in the flat, and it's incomplete. And so New Mexico should get outstanding field position. That's a ball you've got to complete. Give your guy a chance to make some people miss. Ryan Galovich will punt. Pressure coming. Galovich gets away. An absolute howitzer. All the way back to the 15-yard line.
He's got a wall and in front. Hayes to midfield and the 44-yard line. That was the most exciting play of the day. He had about a 70-yard punt and about a 45-yard return. Galovich finally made the tackle. Knock it out. Owens ahead for a first down. Unless it was a keep all the way, because I'm giving that. You've got two big linemen in front. In on the all-time Mountain West Conference tackle record. Third and five, Gerhardt dropped the ball, got it back. It'll be fourth down. Granderson was there, Prosser was there. Heal the victory. Big opening for Evans, it'll get 10 on first down. Third and short out of the pistol. And they'll get the first down. It sounded like he inspired the coaching staff too, didn't it? It did, it really did. Hey, Great make cut. you miss. Valaday's got open field. Valaday. Inside the 20. D'Angelo Ross finally got a piece of him. They get a pair of 100-yard runners today from their two tailbacks. And I tell you what, the vision right there with the cutback, everything's going left. And to have the vision and to make two precise cuts, one there and then another one right there, he folds back behind the entire defense. And now he's going to be dropped for a sack at the 21-yard line. Jordan Flack got him, second sack of the year for the senior from Newberry Park, California. And this is a coverage sack because, to me, this is time to throw. You're inside the 20. That's plenty of time to throw the ball. This will be a 37-yard field goal, and it's perfect for Cooper Ross. So it's a two-touchdown lead, 17-3. to three. It's, it's going to take some time. Third and a bunch, and this is going to be another sack. The ball come out. I think Prosser pulled it out. He was trying to pull it out. Logan Wilson was there. Prosser's been in the backfield all day. For them to punt the football to Wyoming. And watch at the end of this. Look at that. Epps in there on the pressure. And you see Prosser pulling it out as he's going down. It's not a good job of blitz pickup. Right there, Prosser's pulling him, but... I'll tell, you, I'll tell you what. Two tights for Wyoming. And this is blown up in the backfield. A loss to Valade. Around the box. Just about in every gap. Four coming for New Mexico. Vanderwall vacates. And he'll throw on the move. And it's behind Mayfield. This Hayes, who had an 86-yard punt return for a touchdown against Boise. We get a line drive kick here. And no, it's going to go over his head. And this is going to work out beautifully for Wyoming. Wow. Down inside the one. The clock is not your ally. It's winding down in the third quarter. Here's a naked. And having to throw it away before he was ready was Gerhardt. Third and less than five. And Vanderwall on the keeper to the secondary. To the 20-yard line. You couldn't get, get the balance right, but good ball action there. You see the entire front chasing the carrier, the tailback. But if he's got that ball in his right arm, he could keep that, or in his left arm, outside edge. Then he doesn't have to really worry about that defense. Last week, they beat another one of their rivals, Air Force, so they've won the front range. And this will go to the 10-yard line. Should be enough for a first down again for Wyoming for Evans. Austin Conway resets in the backfield. They never and they're going to run option. option. Here's Conway toward the end zone. Touchdown, Wyoming. That was well designed. And Austin Conway runs it in. It's Aiden Everhart running the option. And if anybody remembers what New Mexico used to do offensively, it looked a lot like that. And right there, the shove in the back. I mean, Everhart ran that to perfection. He speaks volumes in that locker room. He, he is a sharp cookie and a great college football player. Too far for a frustrated Delane Hart Johnson because they don't feel like 
it's going to work with how they operate. Uh-oh, here we go. This one's going toward the house. To the 14-yard line. Huge run for Valaday. He's ripped off several long gainers today. Guy, you got to be a Wyoming kind of guy. A, a tough, hardcore, hard-nosed football player. And this might be one of those moments for the Lobos here. And I know it's a huge run here by Valaday, but this moment right here, watch Marcus Haynes run him down, finish the play. He has 142. Vanderwall looking toward the end zone, not there. He's got to get rid of that football. Instead, he takes a sack. All he's given them in this game seemingly, uh, and now it's out of control in front of uh, Wyoming as Valaday scoots into the end zone again. Again, I can't, you can't say enough about the job this offensive line is doing. Yeah, that's a touchdown in touch football. I mean, this offensive line is really, I mean, look at the seals and the cutoffs. And it's actually rushing, but she, in college, which I've never liked, they take the uh, sack yardage off your rushing stats. No gain there on a jet sweep. Tyler Hall made the tackle. Dewey is nicknamed. He's two tackles shy of the uh, Mountain West career mark. Gerhardt's throw is complete to about the 39-yard line. Gerhardt, and that is intercepted. That's picked off by Tyler Hall. And Hall to the 25-yard line. Just continues to stare at it, and stares at it, and stares at it, and then just throws it. I mean, too many white shirts over there. You gotta come to a check down and get the ball out to a check down somewhere. He's got two career interceptions. Both have come against New Mexico. Nice play there by Hall, a junior from Hawthorne, California. Valaday runs into Barnwell. Boy, he keeps playing, doesn't he? I tell you, a lot of these kids are, are still scrapping. They've had to play defense, just 44 snaps for the Lobo offense. And that uh, mesh didn't work out. That's, that's and the Lobo, next yeah, ball. Lobos came up with that. Fifth lost fumble of the year. Or excuse me, seven. It's just on the exchange, and sometimes that happens. And new coach Bowl, and that's how they kind of kind of start getting him recruited. At any level. And here is the young man from Casper. Those are the kind of things that for me, I still miss those things to this day. Absolutely. Gerhardt. And he's going to get sacked by Carl Granderson, Craig Bowl, and Laramie. Grew up in Lincoln. Slant, and it's dropped. Bowl will go over and congratulate Bob Davey on all the success he's had through the years two guys that have great respect for one another well dewey you pointed out during a commercial break we we'll say this on the air dewey in the bowl game those stats count so he will as soon as he makes another tackle will be the all-time leading tackler in mountain west conference history